What is up guys? I am back again with uh, another video and check it out. If you haven't seen it, this is my 2003 Nissan 350Z. It's a uh, base model edition, manual. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, I ain't gonna lie, it's, the body is okay, you know. This car has definitely been put, pit, Blah, put through the paces but I mean there's nothing I can't fix I bought the car to to learn it you know and actually be able to have a project to work on you know I still got the daily but this is gonna be my weekend car I originally wanted a G37 but I like 350s too and they're pretty awesome as you can see here I got the uh, spec D exhaust on the back Sounds pretty nice. It looks pretty good too. Over here, I want to show you guys something real quick. So, this gas cap <coughs> is actually missing the actuator that, t that pops open the gas cap to, um, you know, pump the gas or whatever. So, what happened was when you put push the button, the gas the uh, actuator opens the gas cap but unfortunately since I don't have the gas cap actuator on this car I had to improvise because the, uh, the actuator is actually about $150 and that's a lot of money for something that just opens the door so what I did if you look here I give me a sec it's not the easiest job but if you use your fingers about right here and pop it open, voila, you have a Velcro style cap. That way, you don't have to worry about wasting money on a super expensive gas cap. So I thought that was pretty pretty nifty that I did to uh, replace it. What we're doing today though, um, is we're actually changing out the headlight bulbs and we're um, supposed to be redoing the housing because the housing is very dirty, as you can see. One of the headlights don't even work. Um, something's wrong with the wiring. We're actually gonna fix that today. My best friend Darius, uh, if you haven't, didn't know, he, he also owns a 350Z. And we're um, gonna, be, gonna be changing these bulbs and trying to restore these housings to save some money because I also want to get some new coilovers for the car because I honestly can tell you that right now that these coilovers are at the end of their at the end of the road basically because they've been rattling and making so much noise anybody that's ridden with me can tell you that these things sound sketchy as f so I'm gonna just play it safe get some brand new coilovers um, but that won't be today though. Today we're going to be just doing the headlights and the rims and that'll be That'll be all we do. So yeah with the rims we're going to be plastic dipping them though I'm going to get I got some black plastic dip over here so we can actually Get that on the wheels because as you can tell This front wheel up here is the only one that's black and the rest of them are the stock alloy color and <laughs> nobody I don't think mismatch mismatch wheels are in style so we're gonna get that change a lot of work that needs to be done in the motor too um, it's just it's been a work in progress since I've gotten the car I've changed the battery I've changed the radiator I've changed the what is this the drive belt I believe I'm not sure the timing belt one of them I've changed the power steering pump, the alternator, and I'm about to change the AC compressor, which is deep down in there, because that thing squeaks like mad, which I'll show you in a later later time, but right now, just know that it squeaks like crazy. Um, the bumper needs some stuff, but we'll go, we'll get to that later. We'll get to what the car needs. First, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I've done so far with the car. Um, back here with the trunk, I've gotten some new trunk struts. It's nothing crazy though. Just something to help. Hold on. 
Oh, here's dropping the cam. All right. So, opening this trunk is a pain in the ass, but yeah, I got some uh, new trunk struts because the <laughs> trunk struts that came with the car, <laughs> only one of them was holding the trunk up, and the other one just didn't work at all. So, you had to I had to use like a little stick to prop the trunk open. Um, I still need some springs. Like I said, we'll get we'll get to what the car needs. Right now, we're just focusing on what I've done with the car um so yeah gas cap struts on the passenger side door here I actually ended up fixing the passenger window because at first it didn't even move up and down oh let me see here Let's try to get this thing started so now you can see it works um it does need to be calibrated though because it goes up a little bit too far but um that i mean that's not a big deal honestly i'm kind of lazy so i probably won't get to that anytime soon again there's another thing the, the car needs fixing <laughs> oh uh, what's up bro what's going on now we uh i'm uh changing <laughs> nice seeing you again man. Oh, man take care this is my this is my neighbor He's a pretty cool guy. He, uh, he he's he's actually fond of the car, so yeah, I might <laughs> I might edit that out though. The neighbor, my neighbor just spoke to me, so I, I don't think I want to put him in a block though, because this that's his uh <laughs> yeah respect his privacy, whatever. But um, other than that, so back to uh what all I've done with the car. Aside from what I, what I, the other stuff that you've seen, not a whole lot else has been done. I will say that when I bought the car, it was extremely dirty. Like, it was just junk all in the seats. It's still dirty. Like, you can see, it's not really that clean right now. But it was junk everywhere when I first got this car. It was just terrible. And I'm just like, no, I don't like it. Damn, check it out. Darius over here with the Z pulling up. What's up, so, dude? Yeah, you got the gloves. Yeah. <laughs> check it out. I was, uh, I was getting in the process of getting this headlight off and I remember I forgot I had my camera in the car and started recording so it. Alright guys, so Darius actually just got one of my headlights to work again after freaking forever of not having a working headlight. He managed to get one of the uh, xenon bulbs to work. So now we're just trying to check and see if we can get both sides to run power. But that's dope though. While he does that, I'm gonna be working on on uh, plastic dipping the wheels, but first I gotta clean them. Okay guys, check it out. We got this wheel has been carded up, taped. I started a little bit on the back wheel now, but what I really wanna show you guys is the headlight. Check this out. Look at how much cleaner and clear that is thanks to this uh, kit right here. But mostly thanks to Darius for doing it because he fucking killed it. Look at how dirty this one is. Can you show it to us real quick? Okay, see how foggy that is? And now look at this. Look how fucking clean that is. That is awesome. Good job. I'm going to get back to... Uh... Alright, so we're going to get these front wheels started. Ignore the barking dog. My neighbors ha have somebody. Oh, I guess. Uh, so, you know how they say you just want a light coat. Alright, so a little update here. We got this wheel spray painted black. Plasti dip, and you idiot. We got the rest of them started. But unfortunately, because the wind, keep losing some cards, but still. 
Does it? Oh shit. It doesn't seem to have hurt it too much. I can deal with a little bit of overspray, it doesn't matter. You know, as long as we get the majority of the wheel sprayed, we can get the overspray off, no big deal. Even got the wheel that was already black sprayed a little bit. And then we got the back one here. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Imagine if I had a uh, some black wheels with a chrome lip, that would look so dope. One day, one day it'll happen, not today though. Oh, you got the face on the concrete, my guy. It's, it's cool. It got. Uh, <laughs> hold on, dude. You trying to figure out how you did it? I feel like I'm missing a piece. It was all assembled. Okay, see, what's in your seat? What else is in here? Nothing's in the driver's seat. What up, everybody? Check it out. We got a front. We got the. Uh, Z covered and every wheel with black flash dip now so now the wheels match up. The exhaust is still popping. Still got the uh fuel door still sitting sitting tight. Got a nice little camera. That camera looks lower than No it does not, Jonathan. Anyway. Um we're about to take the car to the park, try to see if we can get some photos. We did try to get the headlights to work. This one worked for a minute, but unfortunately, uh, I don't know exactly what happened. It seemed like something came loose, but when we checked all the connections, it, it, didn't, it just didn't want to work. So now we're just going to have to take it home and, I don't know, probably order another one, whatever. But yeah. We'll see you guys at Shelby Farms or wherever we may go. So, peace. A few minutes later. So, we're here out in Shelby Farms. It is packed as a. Look at all these cars here. There's cars everywhere you look. It's a nice little feel. Yeah, we're out here trying to get some good shots in, but ooh, I'm so glad there's a little cloud cover, you know. But, yeah. It's been this car has been such a fucking journey, fucking uphill battle, but you know it's slowly getting there. Slowly. Um, Darius, we got some work to do with his. <laughs> Look at that exhaust, though. How nice that is. Ah, ah, I feel. Anyway, <laughs> what's wrong with being in the grass? Yeah, I do like how it looks now, like that.